Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, we're here to do Card Fight Vanguard episode 19 The Battle of the Gesture. Or something like that. That's what it's named. <coughs> so, guys, we are here to review the episode from tonight. And hopefully, you guys will like it. Um, I will hopefully, we will all do much better. I don't know. I'm really tired. Don't know why. But, guys, that's right. It's Chaos Noah versus Saint Aichi and Kai. I don't know. I ran out. The Destiny Kai. There we go. No, but seriously, I'm going to refer to him as Chaos Noah just because it's fun like that. So, yeah. We're here to review, break down the episode, theor uh, and talk about it. Because there's no theorizing. It's literally an episode review. Alrighty. Moving along, so yes, this is our opening scene of the episode, and I will be in the next season, uh, next season of Vanguard, be trying to make these episodes a bit more better, as in adding clips and stuff, so that might come out at a later date. But for the rest of the season, being there's three episodes left, we're going to continue with this format we've created here. So, Kai, Aichi, and Chaos Noah. It's a pretty standard fight. Um, we have an awesome fight table where these two sides are on the same team versus Noah. Uh, the damage is to, I believe, 9 or 12. I'm not entirely sure, but they did get up to 8 damage throughout the series. So, or throughout this battle. So, yeah. Um, I do like this fight table. A lot of people were commenting last week about how... Uh, the fight table Ibuki when he was defrighted by um, the deleter unit that this was better and I just realized it's kind of funny I think Ibuki is the first defrighted person really maybe so yeah this was elongated, elongated but this one's more compact which really is nice I like the design of it because you can see it's 1v2 they have it as a nice T shape instead of a split here to make it sort of a three-dimensional battle which would have been really cool so yeah so, I mean it's overall I, I say this a lot but it's a pretty standard back and forth fight for a while Noah chaos Noah attacks Aichi or Kai he wants a turn or not wants a turn but he attacks them back and forth dealing damage restricting certain cards for cost um, and then it, the fight picks up a little bit, but he but Noah talks about how Aichi and Kai both were have scattered as karma scattered the uh, has scattered chaos around the world, which is which Noah likes to gloat about for a while. Nothing too super major there. I just like it, it was a nice reminiscent reminiscence of season three and sort of points out that the fact that. Link Joker wasn't always there. They're sort of a new clan to the planet Kray. So after Noah rides, Aichi rides in his beautiful, expensive Gancelot Peace Saber. I like this image a lot. And I'm probably going to go back and try to get it again without the text because I really want to make this a map. And I like, and I just like the scene. So, um, yeah, he rides Gansalot, gets a quadruple drive, and gets a critical, and a handful of other cards that really don't make a difference in this battle. Um, and then after that, Noah starts talking about how the relics is still actually, even though the relics is gone, the subspace is there, so, um, and it talks about how Giza's power was transferred, and the power is still cursed on the planet, yeah. That's about what happened there. It's just another good scene. Another really stunning visual. Um, and then he goes over, he, he sort of, we sort of do this pan and talking about Giza's Awaken and how even though we've, even though that they've caught the Xeroth dragons, they were already awakened. So that's a problem for the, for the cast here. And we just get another shot of Giza after in his divine holiness or unholiness. I really don't know. Giza's Giza. Um, he sort of just like picks on Aichi and Kai. He's trying to get under the skin and it doesn't work at all for him. 
whatsoever. Um, and then they they team up. They talk about how even though they might be doing the wrong thing, their vanguard feelings are what is driving them to this point, and they must follow their heart. And that's their vanguard. Not yeah. So that sort of is that whole conversation. Um, Noah's trying to reach out to her friends. Regular Noah, not Chaos Noah. Is reaching out to her friends because they're looking for her to try to help break free. They're running around the room where they disappeared. And then there was supposed to be another scene here. I don't know where it went. Um, well, that's problematic. Oh, well. She, or no, wait. No, there isn't. She has this flashback about the Summer Triangle and how they made their promise to one another. And then, you know, because logic has to, they have to break a subspace somewhere in time. So they break through and they're like, ha we're back, baby. Yeah, I don't really understand what's going on here. They, the Vanguard thrown their logic out the window a long time ago. But yeah, no, they break through the subspace to, you know what? temporarily breaking Noah's curse. I got this image. I thought that looked kind of cool. It's sort of dissolving into thin air. But yeah, no. Um, They break Noah's hold or they break Chaos Noah's hold on regular Noah for a while. She starts crying, goes to give them a hug, and then nope. Nope. Chaos Noah's like, nope. So Chaos Noah pulls Noah back in, doesn't bother to rechain him up or anything. So she broke out, haha. Ha. Well I'm gonna gonna lock you up. That's what I'm gonna do. Just leave that one restraint on you. And he gloats, and then they're like, haha, ha, but our vanguard re relies on friendship. Cause that's what this whole episode's about, is freeing Noah and friendship. But yeah, no, seriously, it was a pretty good episode. Um the fight was a standard z apostle losing to it um yeah just in case you guys didn't know he loses after xerox striding because that's the theme of these episodes is the apostles must be banished so he he ultimate strides sets his board on fire which is kind of nice um he releases the stargate xerox dragon i just love these imageries of whenever they release xerox dragons um, so Xeroth Dragon of Destroy Star Stark is played, he attacks, and I and he does this massive blow at an attack against Kai, thinking, well, Kai has the weakest hand right now, I'm gonna win. Nope, Aichi steps in with a guard and intercept, and Kai just guards from hand and intercepts as well. Noah's G-Zone pops away, or Chaos Noah's G-Zone just blows up like a little balloon. Because who could have seen that coming? I'm being really sarcastic. I'm sorry, guys. But I'm sorry. The repetitive episodes are getting old. So, yeah. That's what we had to deal with. Um, And then he Aichi plays Exceed and uh, Alfred. So I'm assuming no new blaster support. And he attacks the blaster, ex blaster Exceed first because it's the anime. And he triple drive checks, or twin drives checks, a um, critical. And then magic, voila. He, he breaks through and defeats Noah. And Noah, as kind of Noah is, forgives Chaos Break and admires this guy. Still loves him, basically, as a card and as a unit and as a being. He goes, oh yeah, you get to explore the vast space. I really admire you. And then he damage checks regular Noah, damage checks as Chaos's hold is breaking. And we continue with the theme of, well, when you lose, a fraction of your soul is severed, I guess, because your main grade 3 disappears. Too bad this doesn't work in real life. Um, And then Chaos, his astral form appears, and he starts gloating. And he reveals more of Giza's overall plan. Or not. Um, he sacrifices himself to the relics. He, he literally just brings the relics in. And he's just like, ha, sacrifice. He's literally just giving up my soul. Take my soul. And yeah, 
the cathedral of nothingness or the whatever I can't read today I'm tired but yeah nope he then just is this haha well there's my there's my power in your hand usually play with it as you want he activates it, which gives it this nice, really purple glowing color. Um, Chris realizes that the relics system went down and there was a virus in it. Because, you know, you haven't learned from Darkface yet. He loves his viruses. Because he's an insect. Learn, Chris. You were smart at one point. Now you're just a third rank brain character. Um, so... The relics is materializing in real space instead of in subspace, so that means this is about to hit the real world. And then the system crashes. Zoa disappears from Kamui's hand, just straight out disappears. Another really cool imagery you get to catch. Um, also, both Dusk and Drop, not Dusk, well, um, Megigo and Drachma both disappear. And then, oh no, who has it now? I wonder. Oh, never mind. It's Kazuto with all six Xeroth dragons just materializing around him. No biggie. None whatsoever. And then, yeah, the episode ends off with the glowing eyes, so that means next week we get to see this fight. Of older brother and Kazuto fighting in a world in an open planet, Kray 2. And then this imagery happened at the end, turn 20, where Kazuto's just blowing up his brother with a bomb but yeah no that was the episode overall not a terrible episode at all um i liked the fight it was interesting we actually got to see a fight more or less i'd like to see it from like turn zero like the good old days but yeah overall not bad and i'm excited to finally see giza's card in the show so we have a better understanding of Giza. It's not like we don't have an understanding in the exact ruling right now, but I just like seeing things in the anime to see how decks, how they're going to function in decks and stuff. But yeah, um, tell me what you guys think. Did you like this episode? Honestly, if I had to start rating episodes, even though it's kind of late in the one season two, this series to do so, I'll be doing that next season. But um, I would rate this episode like a seven and a half, eight out of ten. Wasn't a terrible episode. I mean, I wouldn't score it below seven. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. And if you guys did, let me know down in the comments below. Hit like and share with your friends, guys. And remember to subscribe if you're new. I do this every Saturday for every time an episode is uploaded of Card Fight. Plus, I'd like to do other shows, but probably more of it as an encapsulated series. I have a couple ideas in mind. But until then, I will see you all later. Peace.